science very often comes with a lot of, of choices. So you can make your own choice um, about um, pursuing a certain problem or a certain trajectory, um, a certain strategy. And so um, I enjoy being free. And um, this has been one of the reasons why I was very much attracted to science. If you leave aside the fact that science per se is of course fascinating. The Senate of Semmelweis University established the Semmelweis Budapest Award in 2009. And it is our institution's highest attainable international scientific honor. Today, the list of the awardees grows once more, and Semmelweis Budapest Award's prestige, importance, and relevance increase on this spirit lifting occasion. It is my great honor, pride, and pleasure to announce that the 2016 award goes to Professor Stefan W. Hell. Naturally, it is no need to say that following the recommendation of Professor Hell for the Semmelweis Budapest Award, the University Senate accepted the proposal unanimously. Professor Stefan W. Hell is the world's leading scientist in nanoscopy and high-resolution biomedical imaging. He is the recipient of the 2014 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for his work in which the inherent optical microscopic resolution limit was surpassed by the use of fluorescent molecules and the special illumination technique he developed. I got the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for overcoming the diffraction barrier in a light microscope and developing a so-called super-resolved fluorescence microscope. So this means that with the microscope that I've developed, it's possible to see details that are much, much smaller than before. And that's important, for example, to see what's going on in a cell, for example. I was very excited when I realized that I could overcome this diffraction barrier simply because I was working a long time for it. I was fascinated by the idea that um, there could be a way of overcoming it. And so eventually when you realize that it works, it is uh, a fantastic feeling. I, it's, uh, I must say, I was more, uh, I felt more pleased about realizing that it works than just about winning uh, a big award such as the Nobel Prize. First of all, I would like to thank the Senate of Samuel Weiss University for bestowing this honor on me. I'm very pleased to be here. Uh, I'm very pleased and I feel very honored and even humbled of accepting an award which uh, uh, commemorates and honors Samuel Weiss. Um, Samuel Weiss clearly was a person who had a clear idea, he was right, but throughout his life he, his idea was not recognized. I feel a bit more lucky than him because uh, unlike him I got recognized as you can see today and I think uh, the fact that he was not recognized is a, is a strong reason to, um, to give speeches in his honor. So he did a lot for mankind and I, I, I really, really uh, feel very humbled by, by this award. I love to be a scientist simply because as a scientist you have a lot of personal freedom. You can think about basically what you want in, in many, many cases. Um, especially if you work in an institute that is very well funded, as it is in my case. And so um, I can get up in the morning and think about a problem and uh, think about finding a solution to the problem or sometimes a big problem, sometimes small problems, but if you find a solution for it, it's very, very rewarding. The idea was not to separate features just by concentrating the light furthermore, uh, space further and further and further. That doesn't work because that ends, is ended, limited by diffraction but to separate features by playing on and off with the molecules. So if you have two molecules that are closer together than the two and a nanometers, like this one, okay? Let's assume this is the two and a nanometers. You can't, cannot separate it in a normal way, but if you turn this one off and just have this one emitting and then turn this one off to have this one emitting, you can separate them. And this is the basic idea, and that's it. And so the on-off transition, taking a transition that makes some of the molecules off was the fundamental, uh, fundamental breakthroughs.